Now, not only will an absolute encoder give you the position within a circle, it'll also give you the number of rotations if you select what's called a multi-turn encoder. Now, our multi-turn encoders are pretty special. And you may say, well, counting turns is counting turns. Well, how it's accomplished is actually very important. There's three main ways to do it. There's the use of gears. A lot of encoders today, if you were to take a back cover off, they would have gear trains in the back, little plastic gears to establish how many turns you've counted. You can also use a battery backup system to establish how many turns by storing that count in memory. Or the third way, which is the newest way, is through a process called energy harvesting. And that's what our multi-turn encoders do to establish a multi-turn count. Well, now why do you care? Let me show you. Here we have a conveyor belt, and on this conveyor belt, I have an incremental encoder here, our incremental cube encoder, and hanging off the back is our 58 millimeter multi-turn encoder. I'm going to start the conveyor belt, and as you can see here, this bottom display and this top display are in sync with each other. The top one here is the absolute encoder. The bottom one here is the incremental encoder. If I were to stop this conveyor, and I were to turn the absolute encoder power off, here you can see I've got an error 01, which means my absolute encoder is no longer talking. When I turn this absolute power back on, it goes right back to where it was. It didn't forget, we didn't go to zero, we went back. Well, that's great, Jared, but that just means your encoder stored its position. Yep, and all three methods can do that, whether you're using gears or batteries or energy harvesting. So why do we care? Well, this is why we care. If I turn this encoder on, so now that it's moving, our position is changing. And all of a sudden we're at the factory and we have a power loss. And I turn off this absolute power, but I'm still moving. Now I have motion while I'm not powered. And I turn this back on, we have not lost our position. That means that this encoder was still counting turns even when it was not plugged in. Our encoders work in the box. If you turn it when you receive it in the box, it's counting. An encoder with a battery backup won't do that. The battery doesn't run the LEDs. It's not counting. All the battery is used for in a battery backup absolute encoder is storing the data, storing the position. It's not updating. So now you would have lost position if this was a battery backup. Now, if this encoder had gears in it that were mechanically turning to count turns, well, Jared, that would have still worked. You're absolutely right. It would have still worked, except that you can only have so many gears. Some of these encoders out there are pretty long. They start looking like soda cans, I call them. They're long because of all the gears in the back, and you're still limited to the number of turns. If you had an application where, let's say, a gantry, and you're traveling maybe 40, 50, 100 feet, or any application with a long distance, you might have a motor running a gearbox where you do five or 10,000 revolutions of that motor to get from one end to the other. Well, if you have gears, those gears typically, in most of our creditors' products, will roll over to zero after 1,024 or 2048 turns. So if you have more than 2048 turns, an encoder with gears very often, it's not gonna be able to count high enough. It's like having an old car with, a, with an odometer that rolls over at 100,000 miles. Well, cars nowadays need a little bit more than that. So do encoders. Our encoder rolls over at two to the 43rd power. All multi-turn counting is 43 bit. Now I did some math, it's 49,313,000 miles to Mars. And if we multiply that by 5,280 feet, we know how many feet it is to Mars. Now, two to the 43rd power divided by that many feet is 33, which means we can make 16.89 round trips to Mars if we put this size wheel, a one foot circumference wheel, like we were lining a soccer or football field, we walk to Mars and back, you would get a unique position from Earth to Mars and back 16 times. Well, obviously, you probably don't need to plan on going to Mars anytime soon, but it's customizable. Because we're not using gears, you can select the resolution you need. If you need 2 bits or 4 bits or 10 bits or 12 bits of multi-turn counting, you choose what you need. So keep your word length short. You'll always know with our product, no matter how far you need to run out with those multi-turn counts, you'll be able to do it with our product.